What did you notice from, from the Mets, and what did you notice from Verlander? Well, I wanted to dive in. Devin, Devin came up with a great idea last night. He's like, you know, we've had so many travel issues mm -hmm. this Everyone season. Everyone has. I got to be honest, in doing this show for eight, nine years, and I fly every yeah. week yeah, back and forth, week. I really, knock on wood, have, haven't had a ton of problems. This year, it's been an utter disaster. <laughs> yeah. Four-hour delays, canceled flights. We almost, we circled Boston for yeah. hours. Yeah. So I was saying, turbulence is in the air. Don't even say those words. I can't for hear it. For the Mets fans mm -hmm. and this team, and if you look at their schedule, they got to go now because it doesn't get any easier. They got about a 10-game stretch, mixing the Nats, the Royals, the Yankees in there. They're on the brink. They're on the you. brink. It's going to happen fast. But if I had two guys that I wanted to lead me into calm skies, mm -hmm. It would be Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer. Yeah. That's who it would be. So let's get into it. Let's make a pilots. There they are. And Max Permission Scherzer, to come listen, aboard, Captain. Max Scherzer has seen turbulent times. 2019 with the Nationals. Oh, my. They lost 31 of their first 50 and went on to win the World Series. Okay? So he's going to find his slider at some point. You can bet on it. 3-1 and one with a 3-3-2 three, three, over his last six starts. And no one questions Justin Verlander. He has been down before. They were down 3-2 in 2017 ALCS to the Yanks. Who'd they put on the bump? This big boy with a 5 o'clock shadow. And when he's breaking it off like that, there is nothing you can do. And I know he walked six his last start against the Dodgers and lost his mechanics for about a 15-pitch swing. But when he's right, he can take apart the best. Heater just off the plate to Luis Robert. Now let's tunnel that breaking ball off of it. Let's go back high heater up and in. Oh, you got to that? Let me tunnel my breaking ball off of it. Mm -hmm. He was on point last night from jump. He is 2-1 and one with a 1-7-4 over his last five starts. So, And he's building a relationship with Francisco Alvarez that I think is great. Okay, so we got a couple <laughs> people in car seats. Little booster rides for the rookies. Francisco Alvarez hitting 381 with a 1328 OPS, Ooh. seven home runs, and 14 RBI. He's carrying this offense in July. He is. You're right. Only Manny Machado's got more home runs this month. Wow. He leads all catchers with 19 bombs, and he's on pace, Lauren. Gosh. And 162 for 44. Brett Beatty, like I said, Boo Birds came out the other day. He didn't hesitate. Back to back homer days. He struggled a little bit, but I think he's going to be all right. It's the rest of the lineup back in coach, but I'm paying you to fly first class. <laughs> that needs to get going. I can't have Brandon Nimmo hitting 260. Pete Alonzo's got 26, but we're hitting just above Mendoza. The only one who's flying private right now is Kodai Sanga. <laughs> he came over. He's flying private. He's got a 254. Over his last eight starts, he's got the fifth highest K per nine in MLB. And what did we find in cargo? Jose Quintana. Yeah. We're going to get him you. back. Ooh, that's right. right 293 right. and 32 starts over the last couple years. So They need it. Hey. They need it. I, I, I don't know if they come out of it, turbulence-wise. But I got two guys that I'd hand the ball to any given day. And I know they're a little long in the tooth, but they will, figure, they will figure this out. You have put your whole season yeah. in their hands. They're getting the senior but discount, but the lineup need, let's, let's, too good. By the way, Marte, I, got an AA, I got an AARP no. membership card no, in the mail. My house a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Where, where are you at? What, you're not. I'm 53. You, get, mm. you start getting that kind of stuff once you, you get that skin, age. perfect skin, though. By the way, the worst seat on the plane is right right next to the bathroom, the last Ooh. row in the middle. <laughs> it's the worst. Everyone lines up who's, to go to the bathroom. Honestly, who sits there? <laughs> I do. I'm not going. <laughs>